guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So today I thought I would film another makeup related video. I have missed doing makeup videos for ages now. I think I just stopped doing them because they weren't getting as many views. So I thought maybe you guys didn't want to watch them, but I miss doing them. So I'm going to do them. I've seen this like whole makeup trend going around once again. This is not nothing new. Like this has been a trend for the longest time now, but I see a lot more people on like Instagram doing this look and I see it on like TV and on celebrities and stuff like that so it is when you really elongate the outer corners of your eye and give that really sexy sultry like cat eye look. So in today's video I thought I could do a tutorial on how to make your eyes look sexier and who does want sexier eyes? This would be like perfect for date nights, special occasions, um, going out clubbing or like going to parties. I don't know. I think it looks really cool. Um, you could even do this for your wedding makeup because how I would. I highly guarantee that if you wear this look you will get compliments on your eyes out in public because when I did do this technique before I got a lot of compliments online as well as my friends and people I saw in real life. Um, so yeah I guarantee if you wear this makeup look you will get compliments on your eyes. So if you want to know how to make your eyes look sexier and how to get this elongated, sultry eye makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I have my face makeup on but not my eye makeup because I'm obviously going to show you how to do the ultimate cat eye makeup look. Whenever I wear this top, I feel like some kind of rapper or something because <laughs> this is like the style that they wear but I actually really like it. It took me like six months to wear this. I brought this on like boxing day and it's like May now. So that was five months ago. Um, but anyway, I haven't even done my hair. I couldn't be bothered. I'm such a lazy person. Like I can't even be bothered doing my hair half the time. Like I slept in plaits. Um, that's the thing about having long hair, it's good because you can just leave it down and it kind of looks done. I just had to put a bit of dry shampoo in because my hair is crazy. The regrowth has been growing rapid in this quarantine. <laughs> We're going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette today because this is my favourite palette. As of recent, this has been my favourite one. Even this box is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Um, that's where this palette came in, in the Modern Renaissance palette. I was so grateful to be sent that send out. And as you can see, it's got like all the neutral colours you need, including like a really light kind of off-white and a black. And that's the colours we will need today. And like a dark brown. Yeah. But you can use any palette that you have as long as it has like a crease shade, like a light brown, a black, a dark brown, and like maybe a shimmery shade or a white shade. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go on with this beauty and what you want to do is you want to grab a Blending brush. So a lot of you guys ask me what brushes I like. I have been using Sigma for the longest time and I'm using Morphe as well. Morphe have really good brushes. I've used EXO Beauty in the past. I've used Real Techniques. I've even used like brush sets from Trade Me and if I were to be honest with you my bronzing brush is from Trade Me. It's just perfect. It's like goat hair or something. It's just easy to blend. I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange. So you just want to go on with any kind of brown shade that you have. This is like the perfect transition shade. Put it like in your normal crease up here. You can feel the crease because it's like the hollow of your eye and your brush will do most of the work if you have a good brush like this. By the way, this is the M441 brush. Okay, and then what you want to do is come a bit lower with the shade as you get to like here and then you want to really elongate that like out this end and like really elongate that. As you can see here, I'm just like smoky smoky. It's always good to start with a lighter shade because then you can't really like mess up. This is like the easiest cat eye tutorial by the way. So what you want to do is take another brush. I'm taking the Mecca Max eyeshadow brush. Mecca Max have also got really good brushes by the way um, from Mecca Maxima. And then bring it up like this. This will be the deadline of where we are going. Now I'm going to put on a lighter shade on my lid so I'm going to take orange soda Take any kind of brown shade that you like and I'm just putting this all over the eye just to give it something something. I really like working with um, warm neutral shades too. Oh my god there was like crust on my nose. <gasps> How long was it sitting there? 
And then you want to take a bit underneath here. I'm just literally using all the same brush. Like, I only use about three brushes for a whole eye makeup look. Now you want to grab a smaller brush. This one's stained, but let's hope that blue doesn't come off in my eye makeup. I just can't be bothered washing it. I'm going to take the shade Tempura, which is this, like, light white shade here. And what you want to do is put this on the inner corner, because white always, like really opens your eye up and you'll be able to see the difference so look at the difference you can already start to see it like brightening up my eye and just making me look less tired and then what you want to do is like bring that white on the eye as well so this will just open it right up and don't worry if some falls down on your like eye like that. It's kind of good because it will hide your dark circles. My dark circles are huge. <laughs> Take a little bit of a light shade. I'm taking glistening um, and this mixed together. You can even take your highlighter on a small brush and focus it on your brow bone. But this will really lift up your eyebrow. Um, and it just does wonders. Like if you have hooded eyes, doing this will kind of make it seem like a bigger space almost. Um, it'll kind of like lift your eyebrow a little bit. Like it gives that illusion. So you can use sellotape for this next step. Um, but I literally don't even own sellotape in this house. Get like sellotape or some object like this. I never really do this technique, but this is perfect for like really sharpening edges you could say so i'm gonna take a dark shade rustic i don't want to go too dark something like this maybe mix in a little bit of this one we're gonna get a straight edge like this and lean it against your eye you can see what i'm doing like i'm blending the edge and i'm kind of bringing it in i'm speaking like so weird right now it's because i'm so worried that i'm gonna move the pack not move the pack so and you can like blend it with the card and then take it away oh sharp as ever so take some dark brown and only put it underneath your outer corner and connect that area and then yeah bring the brown in And what you can do is like blend it up a little bit here make sure it's like all blended just give it a little tap upwards making sure there's no like harsh lines and you can also bring it up like to here like just blend the eyeshadow up if you have really hooded eyelids this will just kind of make the illusion that your eyes are bigger so now take a concealer brush so i'm using the sigma flat definer e15 looks like this you want to grab a little bit of concealer on your brush. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape, by the way. Favourite concealer in the world. And then you just want to go up the line. So you can kind of reshape that um, line and make it a little bit lower if you think you did it too high. Now for eyeliner. So the tip to not making your eyes look really really small let's do a really thin line and we're going to do like a point in the inner corner and connect it back i've been doing this in my latest like gucci looks on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram i'll leave it here on the screen it's just alicia jones with two s's um, i've been uploading more like crazy creative looks lately and i have done my eyes really like elongated and a lot of you guys comment on the eyes and the contacts and stuff so that's good. So anyway, we're going to line this. So there we go, as you can see I've really pointed it and it really gives that like cat eye look. This is like an essential step um, and I normally never use black eyeliner in the waterline. Like if you want your eyes to look bigger, do not do this next step because this next step is going to make it look a little bit smaller but a little bit more sexy and sultry and that's what this eye makeup tutorial is about but if you want bigger 
sexy your eyes then leave it um, plain or even put white eyeliner on this part and it will just make your eyes look bigger. So I'm taking the Thin Lizzy Duo Eye Pencil. Just take any black eye pencil and you want to do this on the waterline. So just really darken it up. And you can also do it in the upper waterline if you can without making your eyes water. I know a lot of people can't do this step. Honestly, I just poke so much stuff in my eyes. <laughs> like eyeshadow, eye pencils, like it's happened all before. Powders, um, no wonder why I'm going half blind. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, like I just put that whole pencil in my eye. <gasps> I'm just gonna bring, blend a little bit of the orange like under here. I think it needs a little bit. Don't bring it too far into where the white is going though. Now you want to put on a mascara. A lot of you guys ask what mascara I'm currently using. My lashes just look super long as well because of Lilash, which is a lash growing serum. But I am using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Mascara. And I do really like this one. Maybelline have like the best mascaras. And also what you want to do is don't forget the lower lashes. A lot of people don't do lower lashes and personally I think it looks way better. Lashes make the whole eye makeup complete and it just makes it look a little bit more sexier and a little bit more darker and sultry and pretty with like long lashes. Um, and the trick is don't put on super dramatic ones because if you do it's just going to hide that elongated look underneath. Um, the lashes and you won't be able to see it because it will just be like a big black lash on your face. <laughs> so I recommend getting like little outer corner lashes and putting it just on the outer edge but lately my favorite lashes have been the Ardell Wispies. These are like perfect. So I love these because it adds some length and volume and it just doesn't really make it look like you're wearing lashes. Like when I wear these people think that I'm wearing eyelash extensions. Some people like ask me. I'm like, no, they're fake eyelashes. I've stuck them down with glue. And they're like, I can't believe it. If you don't know how to put on lashes, just look at tutorials on YouTube. It's not actually that hard. All you need is um, a good eyelash glue. Wait 30 seconds. Now that is the key tip. Wait 30 seconds or at least like a minute even. I wait like a minute um, for the glue to dry and that's where people go wrong. They put it on and then shove it on their eye and then it's sliding all around and it's not sticking. It's because you haven't waited for the glue to go tacky. And you want to use your tweezer and after a minute place it in the center first and then push it down on the outer push it down on the inner and honestly that's my best tips for putting on fake eyelashes. When you press the eyelash tube do a little bit because that gets me every time I like squeeze it too tight and then the lash glue flies out like who's that happened to before because I swear it happens to me every single time so I have to le learn to be patient. And a tip that I will give you that I always do now and I didn't used to do back in the day is hide the lash band, like get your liquid liner and just draw over the lash band, cover any bits of glue, any bits with like shimmer on it because it will make it look more natural when you look down and it will look better for photos. You won't see like all this white horrible lash glue. So make sure the lashes are stuck down and then come in with your liquid liner and literally just draw on the top. Okay, so here is the difference between the eyes. Like, look how much bigger my eyes look and more like elongated and smoky. So much better. Oh my god, this highlight. I am bloody obsessed. I say this in like every makeup video now. It's the Benefit Cheek Stars palette. It's got one highlighter, two blushes, um, two bronzers, I think, and a brush. It's like the best.
best highlighter in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eye because I don't want you to just wait here watching me do the other eye when you've already seen me do this eye. Okay, so as you can see, I did this eye off camera and I got them pretty symmetrical. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this tutorial and you took away a few tips from it or maybe you'll try out a few techniques yourself. It's like literally little easy techniques that just make such a big difference to your eye makeup. So if you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday at 8.30 a.m. New Zealand time. Please leave any video recommendations down below in the comments. I love reading them all and I want to get some inspiration again. Um, after filming this, I'm like, oh, like I actually miss filming my makeup videos. I just wish more people watched them. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you're all doing well and you're staying safe and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Peace.